Hi guys, uh, today we are going to try and address a major problem that a lot of our clients have is uh, how to research for their model kitchens, their wardrobes, their home interiors. So it can be very overwhelming, it can be very confusing for any normal person to try and figure out uh, which things are a best fit for them. Uh, for their, uh, which are budget friendly, uh, which are maybe fancy or which are high end and cater to their desired needs. For that, uh, we are making this video uh, so that people can uh, research uh, regarding their home interiors a bit more better in a bit more step by step way. Most people, they have a budget for the entire house, they have a budget for their model kitchens or for every room. But uh, what they don't have a budget for is uh, the research part of it. How much time are they willing to spend to go to various showrooms, to ask people, to talk to them and how much money are they willing to give to engage expert designers, uh, to engage interior designers, uh, architects as well as other uh, small furniture consultants uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, this is very vital uh, because over here you need to make sure that you are able to have a solid foundation of the information that you will be using to take an intelligent decision regarding your home interiors as well as model additions and wardrobes. The first step what a client needs to do is uh, they actually need to go out, uh, they can go on the internet also, but they need to visit the showrooms, their local showrooms of furniture, interiors and they need to chat and they need to see the displays and they need to understand what stuff they like and they don't like. Uh, this is very important uh, that once you visit the market, once you visit online, uh, you look at pictures, you look at the actual furnitures, you look at the uh, actual interiors, actual model occasions, that you are able to get a sense of what you want, what you like is actually more precise, not want, but what you like, what are, what design are you bending towards, what uh, features are you liking, is it modern, uh, is it a bit more traditional, is it a fusion, uh, is it industrial themed, so one needs to figure that out first. What one does not need to do is trying and figuring out what, are the, what is the costing of each and everything once they come to the showroom or once they are figuring out what they want to do with their home interiors. That is a show short way to get very confused at the start. People start to budget each and every item and it generally leads you down a very confusing road at the very start of the process uh, which should be ignored for the time being. Uh, because most of the time you need to f first figure out what you like, what is appealing to you and then one can uh, maybe later on think down the line regarding the budget because most of the designs and most of the products, modular kitchens, interiors, they have a lot of different varieties which fit various amounts of, uh, various types of budgets and uh, they can go high end also and they can have a very pocket friendly uh, solutions to your interior as well. So that is the first step and after that the second step is once you have a little bit grasp of what you want, what you feel uh, would be right for you, uh, what you think is appealing to you as a look for a kitchen or look for your room or in complete interiors, then you visit a few experts Approximately you can say maybe three or four, maybe five and still don't talk about the budget at this stage, I would suggest. You figure out what these designs, the designs that you have in your head, the designs that you are finding appealing, how practical are there in your space. These experts will help you make sure that these designs are ha have a implementation groundwork or a framework in a way which would actually fit in your rooms, in your spaces that you have available and make sure that they are functional, make sure that you know the implementation 
from the from from the visualization point of view is not wrong and is not a disaster that is why you need to visit the experts and fine tune uh, the things the designs which are going to appeal to you uh, which would actually work for you and uh, this is this is very vital uh, because you need to understand that uh, before venturing into something that now you think you like and going on a price hunt regarding products of that you need to first make sure that the ideas that you have are practically implementable that's why the experts uh, make sure and save you a lot of time over here uh, as to making sure that they are broadly practically implementable at this stage i would generally suggest that after meeting two or three or four designers or experts uh, a person can narrow down and then start to figure out regarding their budget with them as to if this kind of design how much budget will it take how much money would you have to spend to get that kind of a look those kind of furniture that modular kitchen and then one can figure out and discuss with these experts as to how to make it come into your budget and make sure that you are able to get most of the desired items you need if not all at this stage it would be wise to figure out what kind of services do you want from these experts is it just going to be on consultancy basis uh, will they be providing some material will they be educating you regarding a lot of these materials will they be doing a design hand holding uh, in a lot of small and big aspects of your journey of making your dream home and as per that as per your requirement as per you know the finances that uh, you, you you are okay to give to the interior designers you can figure out the right package uh, with which you want to go with them and with with which you can confidently uh, take this step forward with that expert that would help seal the deal and that would also that would also make more sense at this stage because now you'll be able to negotiate with the expert also uh, what would the pricing of all their services so the last major point is the budget of the entire project the best thing regarding this is that you need to make sure that you are able to do this project under your budget you need to be very much comfortable with the amount of money that you have allocated aside for this project and the experts that you have hired need to be ensured that the budgets is are probably not going to increase a lot or vary from time to time that is very much important over here that will happen if you are not overshooting your budget from the get go that you end up buying expensive items which sometimes don't add to the functionality or durability uh, of your interiors so that is very important uh, making sure that now you just select the items and if any of them are going over the budget just cut them out ruthlessly from your dream house okay because if you try to go for something expensive which is overshooting your budget it's going to be a stressful experience for you as well as for a lot of other experts and vendors that have been involved in the process because you'll be stretching your budget they'll also be probably uh, working extra hard to make sure that expensive stuffs are able to come into your budget so that is that, that is the biggest pitfall i've seen most of the clients fall into that they feel that uh, they'll be able to get an expensive or high end value stuff at a price uh, which is not not practical without uh, devaluing uh, various aspects of that product finally to sum it up it is important that you first go ahead and realize what kind of a feel what kind of a design that you actually want your dream house and your dream interiors to be on life and second figure out the partners which would help you along the journey to make sure that your house is the one that you desire and after that the last part very important is uh, sticking to the budget once you have once you have hired experts once you have involved 
teams of people that are going to assist you in this journey to uh, creating an amazing home for yourself. Uh, you need to make sure that uh, the budget does not overshoot because that is the major reason as to why all the uh, hard work and teamwork with these experts they generally go down the drain and it becomes a stressful experience for everybody which also ends up uh, sometimes in not so good quality product uh, being set up at the client's house. So yeah, these are the basic uh, three conclusive points uh, that uh, you can go through and uh, if you are able to if you stick to it, you will save a lot of time, you will save a lot of money and if you are watching this video, uh, do share, like, comment and definitely share with people who are having research troubles about you know getting their home and your home interior done. It can be a very stressful process for a lot of people. No matter how many people I've talked to, everybody's like, oh, it's such a stressful process. I will not want to make my home interiors. I would not want to do my interiors again. I would not want to do my home again. But if a person actually goes through a basic amount of steps prior to just you know getting into their own interiors and uh, laying out some amount of the budget to provide to an expert or a few experts to help them along their journey it will be a very painless process I believe and people will even enjoy it. Thank you.